The autonomous warrior exercises have been going on for the past few weeks uh, off Jervis Bay, which is a military controlled uh, part of the New South Wales South Coast. And it's where AUKUS partners, so the US, the UK and Australia, have been testing uh, their military hardware and in particular their autonomous maritime hardware. So things like uh, an autonomous submarine, a high altitude balloon and not just testing their capability but testing the capability between uh, those major countries as well. What has happened is uh, the ABC can reveal that uh, Japan has been asked to observe that activity and has had officials watching on and that uh, we, the ABC can say that uh, there was a prior that a US defence official um, told us that there was a priority that we look to expanding and deepening our cooperation going forward and that they think Japan will move from being an observer to being a participant in the activity next year. Now the significance of this is because there has been speculation for many years that Japan will become or be asked to become part of part two of AUKUS, so joining with Australia and the US and the UK as as part of uh, some certain advanced defence projects and the US uh, has told the ABC that they are keen for Japan to potentially participate in these military exercises next year.